Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you may already know, one of the most important Islamic celebrations is right around the corner. It's late. And the Hayab Academy decided to create a destructive video concerning this holy occasion. It is known for it to be the festival of sacrifice. Because every Muslim household that can afford to do so will sacrifice an animal, usually a sheep. Therefore, each household should know about the markets. You're gonna tell me that you know, don't know about the markets. Well, this is where our friend Ryan is gonna come in handy. Actually, he's gonna speak about this in more details. Ryan, let's see what you got. To celebrate God's test of Ibrahim, many Muslim families sacrifice an animal and share the meat with the poor so that they can commemorate this day too. By doing that, they honor Prophet Ibrahim's devotion to God and his willingness to sacrifice his son when ordered to by Allah. In addition, it is of the utmost importance that the animal feels no suffering besides the initial pain. In this honorable day, Muslims show that they too are ready to sacrifice their lives to the one and only Allah. I came here today to interview an experienced seller named Mustafa. He sells sheep in an area close to Tafugalt, and they are very well taken care of, and the prices differ from a seller to another. بما أن كورونا نقصت بزاف من القدرة الشرائية نتاع السكان واش الأسعار في متناول الجميع ولا غالية بزاف تبارك الله فيك؟ متناول الجميع يعني مسكين أي حاجة يعني ناقص شوية ناقص بزاف قاع السوق عندها عفوا ثانيا كي داير الصحة نتاع هاد الحوالة يعني واش مزيانة على الأكل مزيانة وكتعطيو لهم الماكلة مزيانة؟ أه يعطيو الماكلة يعطيو مصرة So as you guys can see, this year the prices are very affordable and here in Berkan the sheep are taken good care of and the sellers respect the instructions given to them by the authorities, all in hopes of spending a happy Eid in which we eat our meat without having to be scared of getting infected or something along those lines. So I wish you all a happy Eid, make sure to stay safe and abide by the instructions that are given to you by the authorities. Because Corona is not over yet. Equally important, we need to remember that God does not want the animal or its meat. God wants Muslims to show that they are devoted to him. So spend your time wisely during this day and have fun with your families and relatives. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, we'll introduce you to Bayan and Romaisa who will interview Dr. Anke and ask him about the proper way to deal with the sheep. Hello guys, as you may have mentioned, Romaisa and I are having an interview with Dr. Adrian Chipa Anke, one of our most distinguished vets here in Britain. He will share with us his experience and will assist our citizens in the process of dealing with the sheep from the beginning till the end. Welcome Dr. Ankit and thank you for sparing some time to answer our questions. So, as you may know, Eid is coming soon and people now are trying to find good quality sheep and know how to deal with it. So, our question is, how should people choose their sheep? In other words, how do we know which one contains the characteristics a client wants? 
Je vous remercie toutes les deux pour, euh, pour, pour m'avoir permis de parler avec vous ou de traiter de, de ce sujet. D'abord, avant d'acheter le, 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 le montant pour le pour l'aide, il faut tout d'abord euh, prendre ses précautions en cette période de, de Covid, de, de, de Corona, euh, pour aller au marché des BO. Le, le mouton doit avoir une allure très normale, il ne doit pas tousser, il ne doit pas avoir des écoulements à partir de ses, de ses narines, de, de ses nez, il ne doit pas avoir un armement, il doit avoir une, une peau qui est très bien, très bien. c'est-à-dire euh, il doit avoir une, également une, une stature de beau qui, qui ne, ne met pas en évidence euh, des boiteries, etc., et il doit répondre, euh, bien sûr, euh, euh, au claquement des doigts, au claquement des, 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 des choses qui sont devant lui. Il doit être euh, bien éveillé. Thank you very much for answering this question. Now we have one more left, which is how shall people deal with the sheep before and while the slaughter process? Euh, je conseille toujours aux aux consommateurs ou bien aux gens qui veulent euh, égorger le mouton de, de ne pas l'amener trois euh, ou quatre jours à, avant ou bien une semaine avant à la maison parce que ça pour pour lui ça constitue un changement euh, de climat un changement de biotope un changement de de lieu où il a vécu avec ses congénères avec ses ses, ses frères et sœurs <rire> si j'ose dire et également, il y a un, un autre problème, c'est le problème du changement de l'alimentation. On ne sait jamais ce qu'il mangeait, l'heure à, à laquelle il, il prenait ses repas, le, 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 les abreuvements, bien sûr. Et comme ça, il y a beaucoup de problèmes. Trois ou quatre jours à l'avance, il, il y a un tas de problèmes qui peuvent arriver à ce pauvre euh, mouton. Donc, il faut l'amener la veille et il ne faut pas lui donner à manger uniquement de l'eau, il faut lui donner uniquement de l'eau pour avoir euh, euh, une facilité dans la préparation lors, euh, lors de, du sacrifice. Bien sûr, on va éviscérer, on va enlever le, les estomacs, les, les intestins. Il faut qu'il faut qu soit vide d'aliments pour, euh, pour pallier aux problèmes de, de putréfaction, etc. Beaucoup de problèmes peuvent naître de, de ces aliments qui restent dans l'estomac. Donc, euh, en, en conclusion, en résumé, il faut il faut l'amener euh, 12 heures à l'avance, 12 heures ou bien à la limite 20, 24 heures à l'avance et ne pas lui donner à manger. Il ne craindra rien, il ne va pas perdre euh, euh, son poids en 12 heures, en 24 heures. Thank you so much, Dr. Ankit, for being part of this interview. We learned so many interesting information we ignored in the past. We thank you again. Thank you, Bayan, Romaisa, and Dr. Hankit for sparing some of your precious time. I really, really can't wait for the to come. Aren't you excited? That's not the case for me. Really? I mean, why? What's the reason? Well, I just don't like it when uh, it gets uh, too fancy outside. Sometimes it even stinks, and um, people don't, just people don't respect the hygiene measures. It's all about that. Really? Let's see what our fellow classmates have to say about this. Amina? Go ahead. Thank you, Ayman and Aya. So since the day of the Eid is approaching, our team dedicated their time to speak and discuss about this issue which is specifically hygiene on the day of Eid al-Adha. Statistics assert that on the day of Eid al-Adha, the amount of waste increases by 92% compared to the daily average tonnage recorded during the whole year. But also a big amount of meat gets contaminated by bacteria, which leads to health problems and diseases for consumers. So millions of Muslims around the world are preparing for the festival of sacrifice and devotion to God. So how can we be clean and what are the precautions that each family should consider? I firmly believe that each family should consider the following precautions. First of all, try to wash your hands with soap to avoid contaminating the meat. It is preferable the person who slaughtered the meat must be clean body and clothing, not to mention preparing clean place and tools. Finally, 
Do not forget to wear your mask with using the hydroalcoholic gel since we're still surviving with the pandemic. What is the importance of sanitizing and cleaning after slaughtering the sheep? So we Muslims after slaughtering the sheep, we go outside dumping leftovers such as wool, horns and everything that we find unusable in order to keep everything nice and clean. But it is important to realize that this action in itself causes huge damage to our environment. For instance, casting away loads of organic waste into open air creates an unbearable stench which increases damage for, to the open air. So according to my point of view, we need to use garbage or recyclable bag to preserve the cleanliness and purity of our environment because the environment is where we all meet, where we all have a mutual interest. It is the one thing all of us share. It is crucial to clean, because if we don't clean the place where we slaughter it in our house, it will be completely polluted. And also, every time you will pass by, it will have a terrible smell. That smell, well, that can affect on your health and cause you health problems. And that is very, very dangerous because as we all may know, Corona can get you to any impossible situation you cannot handle. So please be safe and start cleaning. What is the best way to keep sheep's meat healthy, fresh, and clean after slaughtering it? Here are some ways to keep your meat from getting wasted. First of all, wrap your meat well with a clean wrap or simply put in a freezable container to prevent your meat from drying out. This method should be done as quickly as possible to prevent the large ice crystals from forming. Also, the meat pieces that have already been frozen should not be frozen again. How much time we should leave between the slaughtering of the sheep and the conception of the meat? According to the Sahati website, it is recommended to leave 24 hours between the slaughtering of the sheep and the consumption of the meat. In those 24 hours, we need to cut the meat and keep it in plastic bags which shouldn't have air in it. Also, try to keep it in a place which is cold so that the meat stays fresh and also away from humidity. Well, sanitizing and cleaning has always been something really important, especially when it comes to meat. It helps us to avoid microbes, bacteria, and so much diseases, so people have to take it seriously. And especially this year, considering that we're in the middle of a pandemic with COVID-19, they will have to be very careful after slaughtering their ship. Thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow for more Britannian news. Bye!